Well, definitely not the best day to try to get the castle in a video, seeing as how it's uh, so overcast and rainy and kind of gray, but that rose gold, I don't know. I kind of like it and I kind of don't. You know, where it mixes with uh, the actual gray and then the, the royal blue and then the gold and then the rose gold, doesn't look so bad. But in the bigger spots, like in the center of the castle up above the, the doorway, eh, I don't know, maybe it's a little bit pink for me, but we'll, uh, we'll try to go around the backside a little later and get some video of it too. But kind of interesting, if you look close, the castle's not quite done yet. The uh, blocks, stone blocks on the lower half, the, the very bottom, I think that's what it's going to be, but the next section up, before you get to the gold trim, uh, the blocks are numbered. I guess it's like a giant paint by number thing. So the, the laborers that come out to do the painting don't have to know what color goes where, they just base whatever particular paint they've got corresponding number and that's what they do. Well, we made it around to the back of the castle. The sun's kind of starting to come out a little bit now, although it's uh, castle's kind of backlit with the clouds, but... I don't know. Paint job looks pretty nice. I think when you got the smaller groups of pink with the, the gold and the blue and all that, looks looks a little better. Thought we would get a, an up close in front of the castle here with the clock and, and everything. I believe the clock face is uh, a recreation of a world clock that's in, I think it's Prague, I believe. I have to look it up. Don't really like the pink so much, but uh, the overall I'd give the castle a passing grade. It looks pretty good. Kind of begs the question, if uh, Sleeping Beauty's castle is pink, um, what is... Cinderella's castle is supposed to be now that it's also pink. Is it also Sleeping Beauty's castle or is it still Cinderella's castle? I don't know. These are the questions we ask. Since there's low crowd level, thought we might take a look at the mosaics and things in the breezeway inside the castle.